What exactly does your robot do? So the Nightscope autonomous data machine, we call it the K5, uh, roams around on its own autonomously, meaning not remote control, and it can see, feel, hear, and smell. And think of it as smart eyes and ears for a private security guard or a police officer to do their jobs out much more effectively. Well, William, is this deployed anywhere where people can actually see how it works? We're in beta testing right now, and obviously the media is taking a great uh, level of attention to what we're doing. So we're in testing now, and we're going to do uh, some larger deployments next year here in Silicon Valley. Uh, Stacy Stevens, you have a background in law enforcement. I want you, to, if you can, to describe if this was operational, if the K-5 robot was operational and had been deployed previously, let's say in a place like Ferguson, Missouri, what kinds of information would we have access to? Well, first and foremost, what you need to understand from a law enforcement perspective is the robot actually is a commanding presence. So if you, for example, put a police car on the side of the road or in front of a building, it immediately changes criminal behavior. So that's where it's going to have the first effect. Secondly, uh, it's looking for those anomalies. It's looking for anything that's out of place or nefarious that's taking place. And it's going to send an alert back to a security operations center so that a human can actually look at that and make a determination as to whether or not somebody needs to be there. William, the technology that goes into this particular robot, describe all the details, if you can. What kind of info would we get? Temperature, uh, motion detection? Sir, it's a great mashup of technology of all the greatest things that are going on in Silicon Valley. It's robotics, it's sensors, autonomous technology, big data, predictive analytics. So uh, it's a combination of looking at 360 degree daytime, nighttime video, thermal imaging. We can run 300 license plates a minute and run it against a, uh, a national uh, database. So let's say there's a felon tag to a particular plate, uh, hyperlocal weather, uh, almost any sensor payload on there that would, and again, enable the machine to to provide uh, actionable intelligence for uh, our first responders to do their jobs uh, that much better. How much would something like this cost, William? Uh, we offer this in a machine as a service business model, uh, so it's $6.25 per hour, uh, as opposed to security guards, usually $25 or $35 an hour. Uh, but it's not a for a one-for-one -one human machine replacement. Uh, so one would have probably, let's say, seven machines and three highly trained guards uh, to be able to uh, secure a, well, let's say, a high-value target uh, much more effectively. And uh, last point to you, uh, Stacey Stevens, uh, what kind of reaction have you gotten from law enforcement officials to introduce this? You know, we've had a tremendous amount of support. We have numerous uh, police agencies who have asked us if they could help.